and it's my great pleasure to present our today's speaker, Professor Dobrohotov. And you can see the title of his talk. So if you're ready, Professor Dobrohotov, please go ahead. So I'm ready. Thank you very much Thank for you. the for invitation, the possibility to speak at your seminar. And also, I want, want to want to say that I have never been to Rostov. Nevertheless, I have several friends. Uh, I had several friends in Rostov and have several friends in Rostov. And uh, one of them was Viktor Yosifovich Yudovich. And I remember him very well. And we have very beautiful and interesting discussion. And so and then Valody Rabinovich is also my good friend. And so, so, so I'm glad to, to, to speak at your seminar. So I will be speak. I will speak about some um, uh, asymptotics of Poincaré Rotac type uh, for um, orthogonal polynomials and uh, on one dimensional and two dimensional. It's our actually joint work with Anya Svetkova. It seems that she is here. He, he also participate in this seminar and uh, but um, actually we um, presented the paper with Alexander Aptekarev and Dmitry Tulikov from Keldish Institute and we can suggest a two different approach to this problem. So we'll speak just about the semi-classical approximation. So now what is the um, formulation of the um, problem which we discussed with Aptekarev, Tulikov and Svetkova. So it is uh, the so-called uh, the um, two two-dimensional uh, Hermitian type orthogonal polynomial. So we have the recurrent equations for them. Here, alpha is a parameter, and that is a variable, and so it depends on on variable z and uh, like uh, variable and uh, on uh, alpha like a parameter, and it is numbers n one and n two. This is generalization of the Hermitian polynomial, and I speak a little bit um, later about them. So the initial data to construct this polynomial you see on the low part of this um, transparency. And so if we have if we have this um, initial data, then we construct the formulas for uh, this um, orthogonal and medium term polynomials. So our goal is con to construct some asymptotics for um, big n. I mean n one and n two. We didn't. Uh, uh, do uh, the solve yet this problem based on the recurrent equations for the um, this uh, two-dimensional orthogonal and polynomials, but uh, and we, we just uh, consider the, the situation when um, n1 and and uh, n2 uh, n1 is equal to n2. But nonetheless, it's some uh, new I think new ideas and then uh, some asymptotics and. Uh, uh, and the summer approach, which I would like to speak about here. So if in the case when n1 are equal to n2, then we can rewrite uh, the, we can reduce our uh, original equation to this system of equations. And so initial data you have here. And so if we introduce a small parameter h, then we, um, and th then the asymptotic which we want to construct uh, means that this h tends to uh, to zero. Then it's uh, um, so I I told you that it exists two approach to we developed two approach uh, one was developed by Aptekarev and Tulikov and but I will speak about the, the semi classical asymptotics. There is a lot of uh, results concerning the orthogonal polynomials, especially of, of one-dimensional polynomials. There is a, not the full, the complete list of the people who study them. And so I just want to uh, attract your attention to the, the paper of uh, famous paper, Plancherelle and Rotach, and then we actually will um, speak about this type of asymptotics and the, their generalization. Uh, so let me uh, repeat some uh, uh, results concerning uh, the and, 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 and our results concerning the um, the, the one the, the standard uh, the, the standard Hermitian polynomial. So we have this type of uh, the um, recurrent equations and. Uh, and uh, uh, our goal now is to reduce uh, this uh, discrete recurrent equation to some uh, continuous equations. And so we introduce some smooth function, um, 
which we denote by psi uh, regular and which depends on x and z and x actually is the mm, continuous analogs of uh, the number of the polynomial so if we put x equal to x, uh, k multiplied by h small then we obtain the function h of k so there exists such a function but it's uh, we construct it so and uh, then um, if we introduce so-called the shift operator it's just the, the Taylor formula actually then and introduce the operator of differentiation with a small parameter dx then we can write uh, down this formula which is very convenient uh, for the future. So it was done first, I think, maybe by Maslow many, many years ago in the Congress on Tsnitsa. He gave a talk about the, the, the relationship between the difference equation, the, the differential equation, the, the difference equation and pseudo differential equation. And so if we introduce this operator, then our original equations, uh, which we continue to the mm, whole axis, uh, take such a form. But now you see, why is a um, parameter uh, this argument of the Hermitian polynomials and x is actually the analogs of the number of this polynomial so if we make the such type of, um, of of change of variables then we obtain this type of equations but uh, if we now write down the symbol of this operator it means we, we change uh, this operator p by so the variable p which is actually the classical momenta uh, if we use the uh, language of quantum mechanics then we see that the classical um, analogs of this uh, symbol uh, of this operator its symbol has a, such a form it is a complex value and it was very, very important uh, then we can make uh, sometimes some type of variables it's not not, not complicated to, to, to show that and then instead of this uh, round uh, h we obtain the new Hamiltonian it is equivalent with such a form and again we have the complex valued symbol and it is very complex uh, very um, important uh, remark and that is uh, um, that is the problem uh, uh, with the complex Hamiltonian even in one dimensional case is quite complicated and so our goal to study this type of equation corresponding to uh, the uh, polynomials orthogonal polynomials not only for median one but also for uh, some other ones so the general in general case we can consider such type of recurrent equation with such type of definition of the coefficients and then the, the, this form uh, of equations cover many other polynomials the Legendre polynomial then Chebyshev polynomial then um, Hermitian, of course, polynomial, and then uh, some Charlier polynomials, and many, many others. And so, if we did the same trick which I um, spoke about before, then we introduce the smooth function, and then we introduce the smooth, uh, the, the unknown function uh, f, and then we introduce uh, the, the um, continuous analogs of coefficient using just uh, introducing such a function. And then after that, our equation has such a form and we can rewrite in, in a form of pseudo differential operator. And you see again that uh, it uh, has the complex valued symbol. So again, I would like to repeat that X is a variable and Z is a parameter. Actually, Z is a variable of the, our original polynomials. But now we consider it's like a parameter. So for each Mm, uh, fixed z x is, uh, is, is changing mm, then you see that is as soon as we have such type of form of our equation we can use so-called double vkb method and so we can introduce uh, try to find the solution in such a form mm, and uh, this is the uh, phase this is phase corre correction uh, or phase shift and this is amplitude so as soon as our Hamiltonian is a complex valued symbol, so they have the complex valued, uh, uh, we have the complex valued phase. So that's again, and so uh, this is a repeat of uh, of the, the previous slide. But now, um, if we uh, substitute this ansatz to our original equation and 
uh, equate the coefficient b b before the, uh, the, the, the mm, zero uh, degree of h, this is the highest degree. So then we obtain uh, so-called Hamilton Jacobi equation in which we can uh, write in such a form because it is a cubic polynomial. So we can present it as soon as they introduce uh, the quadrat quadratic polynomial, they introduce its roots. And so we have uh, this type of equation. Again, you see that the Hamilton Jacobi equation has the complex uh, Hamiltonian, and this is a problem. So some words about the complex valid phases. So there are um, several uh, uh, approach uh, which could be used, not in this problem, but in some other, and that I, I also um, uh, 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 also mentioned some people who study uh, this problem. The first step, uh, the, the, the maybe the, the uh, one of the, the of, of the uh, approach based on the uh, transition to the complex plane. I mean that uh, uh, so our variable x becomes complex, and so we can consider the complex value, uh, the, the solution on the complex plane. But it's a uh, uh, quite complicated thing. It works only in one-dimensional case, and uh, so mm, uh, yeah, and that, so so we, we don't use it. Uh, so that is the limitation of this approach. And then the other way is the so-called the, the based the, the approach based on the complex race. And so there is first paper more, more, maybe was. Uh, written by uh, Maslow, and then um, later on, a little later on, Khudikov and Kravtsov Arlov, they use this approach. Uh, but the problem is that uh, if soon as you have the, the this complex race, you mean it means that you also need an analyticity of your Hamiltonian. Analyticity on the moment is not strict. Um, assumption, but analyticity on the variables, uh, physical variables, is strict. Um, and so it is quite complicated to use it in uh, many problems, in some, in many real problems. And so the idea was to, instead of, um, the, so to continue to, to use the almost analytic continuation um, for the case, then the imaginary part of phi is uh, positive. And so there are many papers. And uh, so I, I have no time time to to, to discuss it in many uh, and this, explain this um, approach, but you, you can see it on some applications. And so it is many interesting applications and that's close geodesic and uh, concentrated uh, the eigenfunction concentrated in the closed geodesic, then the coherent states and uh, so on. Uh, th then the last one is then the real part of S is equal to zero. Then it's uh, this type of asymptotics appears in the tunneling and probabilistic problems. But what I would like to say, all this mentioned pro uh, approach couldn't be used in our situation, or it's become so complicated that you cannot find any interesting results. So, and what we use, and uh, so uh, historically, uh, this explanation appear after our several talk, which we give in, in uh, for instance, in Stiklov Mathematical Institutes, and try to explain what we are really doing. And then we um, understood uh, that um, <laughs> that is very simple uh, explanation if you consider the um, e e differential equation, the differential equation of the second order. Uh, with such type, there is uh, some uh, linear term with respect to derivative. And so we see if we, so we put here the small parameter like it uh, uh, necessary to do in, if you use a semi-classical approximation. And so if we write down the symbol of this operator, you see it's again, it's a complex value. So this is the, the, the term, this is the term, the, the, the linear term give us the uh, imaginary um, part of the symbol. But if you take any books on differential equation, see, then it's very well known change of variables, uh, which can reduce this equation 
uh, with a complex valued symbol to the Schrodinger type or, or uh, uh, equations with a real valued symbol. Uh, and uh, so it's uh, j j just uh, the, you, you kill uh, this uh, linear term using this type of variable, uh, the, the change of variable. And so if we use this standard, standard substitution, then we have the Schrodinger equation of this type with such a potential. And then we see that actually we have uh, the, the, mm, some additional uh, real phase which you have in uh, this change. And then you can uh, see, you see that the Hamiltonian which we have after this change has such a, a form. And so mm, it is very pragmatic. It's of course, it's, it's, it's not possible to use uh, this trick for uh, all uh, situation, but for the orthogonal and polynomials, it could be used. Now I would like to say that it's very important for us that we can use some tricks um, which uh, follows from the so-called the feynman maslow operator methods. Um, and uh, for instance, uh, you can, uh, um, so, so if you, you construct the, the solution in, in such a form, then you can use the formulas which you see uh, here that uh, first, you 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 you, you can uh, commute the fast oscillation exponential with the complex valued phases with the shift operator, and it is important because um, if uh, the operator, pseudo differential operator, is not based on the shift operator, then it's many problems how to define uh, the, the, this uh, how to to present this uh, commutation formulas. But in this case, it's uh, simple calculations. And so um, we use uh, this type of uh, formulas for the shift operator. You see that is uh, commute, uh, the, the product commute with this shift operator, and then also the um, some function of uh, the uh, our uh, base function f could be also commute with operator. And this is very important because we can um, use the many very useful formulas for the maslow feynman calculus and uh, I, I will mention them um, a little later when you I, I will uh, show you when I, I show you uh, the um, concrete formulas so if we now uh, uh, use this trick which I show you for this equation for the equation which we uh, uh, consider for the orthogonal and polynomials, then you see that we, we can construct uh, this change, this real valid phase, and we substitute this uh, function into uh, the, the original pseudo-differential equation. And after uh, some calculations, we obtain the discrete Schrodinger equation, but now it is this equation is has the real valued symbol. Moreover, the, this potential which we have, it is discrete Schrodinger equation, actually. So, but uh, uh, this potential we could be uh, uh, obtained uh, uh, in explicit formulas, the formula, but it's not maybe pragmatic. But if we use uh, the, the, the existence of this uh, the fact that the small part of the h is small parameter then we can construct this type of uh, approximation and for actually for the semi-classical analysis it's enough to have this type of formula because o of h square give us just like some small correction then okay now we can use um, the the, the um, simple maslow scheme uh, simple because it's one dimensional case and construct the asymptotic solution of this uh, discrete Schrodinger equation or Sturm Liouville discrete problem. Uh, and uh, so, this, uh, if we use uh, this uh, approach, uh, so this double WKB, so we see that our solution, for instance, for the, let's come back for the uh, 
for uh, the, the, the Hermitian polynomials, you see, then uh, we can find, uh, we, we can draw this, uh, this type of a picture. So our, um, if we consider this is X variable and it is Z variable, and so we construct uh, the, the different solution for different z and uh, x is our variable so we see that the plane zx could be separated to um, maybe two two, two, two parts uh, if, if x is positive x is positive because it's a number of our polynomial so actually uh, this parabola or, or parabola type uh, function um, uh, describe the so-called turning point the semi-classical analysis of this um, operator and so um, what we see inside of this uh, parabola we have the uh, the double vkb approximation but near the turning point we have the approximation based on airy functions and when we leave the zone uh, the, 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 when we, we are far from uh, this parabola then we have uh, the, the growth zone of the uh, polynomial and uh, um, actually here we can use uh, uh, the, the approximation for the Hermitian polynomials, very simple Hermitian, uh, very approximations, and uh, which was um, uh, to, to this fact, uh, Anya Tsvetkova attract half attention. So it is uh, into, so very useful fact. And so what we can do, we can um, can take uh, the, the leading term of uh, the 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 the, uh, the, 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 um, uh, the the leading degree of the Hermitian polynomials, and we omit all the correction with the z to n minus one power, and so it and so on degree. And so we see here we have this type of something like the um, boundary conditions, boundary condition in this. Uh, on, on this row. Okay, now, now if we use uh, the Maslow uh, approach for uh, the, the, this discrete Schrodinger equations, it is not a complicated thing. You see, it is just you must know, of course, something about that. Then we see that our asymptotics uh, is connected. As asymptotic is connected with the um, zero level of uh, this Hamiltonian. And uh, so his h is equal to zero. It's a leading term of this potential, and and uh, so this gives us the so-called Lagrangian manifolds on the plane, and uh, th th this is a curve on the phase plane. So p is a momentum corresponding to variable x and z as parameter, and so we have such type of set of. Actually, we don't need all the set because uh, each. Uh, manifolds, uh, uh, we, we can fix just two manifolds, this one and this one, another one just repeat uh, our um, solutions, because if we multiplied uh, our solution by uh, exponential function to pi uh, x, then and put x equal to uh, n divided by h, then it uh, will be give us the same result. So we fix just only two this variables and then we construct the solution in the form so called the Maslow canonical operator in this case and uh, so I will see you a little more a little later formulas about it and uh, uh, and again uh, we can const construct the, the, the just uh, something like the fundamental solution of this uh, Schrodinger equation yeah but Mm, to, to fix uh, the solution, we must use some additional um, additional uh, mm, conditions. And this addition condition, this is the boundary conditions and plus plus analyticity. It is very important. It's not could be used for any problems, but polynomials are analytical function. And so we can use analytical continuations and uh, we construct uh, our coefficients, which are free. Uh, in first and here using this this I, I, I maybe it's some remark that this Sergei Monakov many many years ago uh, used such type of analog of such tricks when he considered some uh, solution of parabolic equation of nonlinear parabolic equation and uses analyticity of course here it is different but nevertheless it is some 
And then we want now to construct, to simplify this canonical operator. And so we use the, um, some um, approach and some approach which we uh, develop very recently with Anatoly Anikin and Vladimir Evgenyi Nazakinsky and Anna Tsvetkova, and the, uh, which good, which uh, can uh, uh, allow us to construct the global asymptotics in the form of. I, I just want to say that we use this Maslow canonical operator in the simple variants of his, uh, which we. Uh, for uh, and then what are, what is the structure of the asymptotic solution? So we have the curve here on the plane z x, and it divides our half of plane x posit positive because um, x is the number of our polynomial to two parts. Inside of this part we have oscillations, inside of this parabola, and then outside we have the mm, the, 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 the grown zone and. Uh, uh, but, but in the neighborhood of, of this uh, parabola, we use the ARI function for construction asymptotics. And uh, so we can construct the asymptotics like the first using Maslow method. We construct the asymptotics, which are uh, something like the, um, the fundamental solutions. And so we need to construct to, to find the coefficients of this fundamental solution and to use the idea that we know the, the, the um, asymptotics of our polynomials for big Z, which and it is given is very simple formulas. We uh, eliminate uh, the, 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 uh, the degrees of uh, this variable Z, which was a smaller number N. And so we can, this gives us something like the boundary conditions for the, our fundamental solution, and then we construct it in a, uh, explicit formulas. So the, the curves which uh, corresponding to give us the asymptotics are, are no more than the uh, uh, zero level of our classical Hamiltonians. The real one it's very important. And so this is so-called the Lagrangian manifold, and actually we need to fix only two of them because Mm, uh, when we come back to the our lattice of to, to the discrete n, the, the the solutions corresponding to the other type of this curves, they said and give us the, 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 the same solution. So it is some simple trick. Okay, and then we want to 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 present our solution not in the form of canonical operator because it gives us the different asymptotics in the different. Mm, uh, the different part of uh, here we have the double V that is just it's in, in, in form of trigonometrical function. Here we have the special function. Here we have the exponential function. But we want to construct the asymptotic solution in a um, form of uh, in a uniform form, and that's so we use the trick uh, which we can uh, we. we uh, suggested several years ago with my colleagues Tanikin, Nazakinsky, and Svetkova. Uh, and this trick is very actually the sim very simple. So the Lagrangian manifold, um, which we have in uh, our um, this problem, have such form or maybe it's a turn turning on. And so this is just the, the, the normal form of this Lagrangian manifold on the neighborhood of the focal point. So this is the, the, the top of this parabola, is a parabola. And so, namely, to, uh, one can construct, namely, to, to, to this, um, the neighborhood of the, the asymptotics in the form of the area functions. Then it gives us the <coughs> ansatz for the solution in such a form. And we need to add also, not only consider not area function, but the area prime. And uh, I have no opportunity to, to speak about the area prime is important, but it's important. And then we can see, uh, we can construct asymptotic of this ansatz in such a form. And it works not only in the small, it is not only in the near, in some small neighborhood of, of this um, neighborhood of this, this so-called turning point, but 
In this domain also is working the WKB approximations and W approximation has such representations. And so it can be constructed ex um, explicitly if we have the explicit formula for Lagrangian manifold and they have them. And then finally we can obtain the, um, the, the solution. So compare uh, these two formulas, this asymptotic formula for area functions and the asymptotics which we construct using this WKB method, we can come, can uh, find uh, the, the phase which we have in uh, definition in our answers for area functions and the amplitudes which has, which we constructed uh, using just the, the um, linear system of equation of second order. So it's very simple facts. And so finally we obtain uh, the, uh, uh, this function Q, phi, A1 and then 2 in explicit form. And this gives us the, 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 the formulas not only for the, this problem, but for many other problems when we have the Lagrangian manifold looking like this type of uh, parabola, not exact parabola, but similar to parabola, parabolic function. And then for instance, that is some, uh, which we use these tricks for the, um, Hermitian polynomial, we obtain the formulas in such a form, the formula of such a form, which give us the uh, explicit and uh, in uniform asymptotics for the Hermitian polynomials in a, uh, uh, via the area function. It is uniform asymptotic. You see, it works everywhere. And uh, so all this function, of course, they are not very, maybe simple, but nevertheless, uh, it's possible to construct uh, the graphs and uh, to use them in uh, very easy. And the uh, very interesting fact that as soon as we obtain, uh, in spite of the obtained our, uh, this asymptotics uh, um, for large N, if we compare uh, the, uh, this asymptotics with the exact, Hermitian polynomials, they see that even for n equal to one, we have very, very good coinciding. For n, the mistakes is, this mistakes is about the two percent. And here that is a mistakes is about almost nothing, you see, especially for like so. And uh, it is uh, some interesting fact and important fact, which could be used in many applications. And so this type of formulas we also want to construct and we constructed for the different type of polynomials, for instance, for Lager polynomials. So this is again, um, it, it's a different type of maybe uh, some generalized Lager polynomials and generalized polynomials. There are maybe different some interpretation and different pictures for them. So we have in the left side, it is, standard polynomial, Lager polynomials, they have the same situation like in the um, situation with Hermitian polynomials. And here we have, uh, but if we parameters a little change in Lager polynomials, we have some other type of asymptotics and we use not only the ARI and ARI prime function, but some other uh, ARI B and A B prime functions in this situation. Then it's also possible to construct the asymptotic uh, solution for Charlier polynomials. Here you can, again, you see some Lagrangian manifold and this is also, you can uh, see the comparison with the uh, real uh, exact polynomials and uh, our asymptotics formulas. Okay, this is possible also to use our approach to the Chebyshev polynomials and give us exact solution, the Legendre polynomials, and that is appears there. So, okay, so just information. And okay, now I would like to come back uh, to the recurrent equations for the uh, our uh, diagonal uh, two-dimensional uh, Hermitian polynomials. So uh, th this I slide, I rep repeat, uh, I repeat, I, I showed you. And so then we introduce again the smooth function. And then we, uh, we pass from uh, the, 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 this uh, recurrent, uh, the, the discrete system to the self-differential operator. And so it's possible to, uh, to, 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 um, 
describe to to to, uh, the, to reduce our system to uh, those color at least formal equation for the function psi, psi which is the, the this diagonal polynomial this function disappear in this representation and so we have such type of self differential operator again with uh, complex valued symbol and then we also have something like type like uh, something like the boundary condition for uh, large n to, to define the coefficients when we construct uh, something like the fundamental solution of this uh, equations uh, now uh, so let me and uh, now it is in the case of this simple orthogonal polynomials it's uh, uh, we, we don't uh, need to use the some numbering of this uh, pseudo differential operator but it's here it's useful to 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 to, to remind uh, that, that we can construct the pseudo differential operator when we construct the pseudo differential operator we can we must order them and so we use the ordering um, which was introduced by Feynman and Maslow so first we, the our uh, the acts to, to the unknown function the differentiation and the second we multiply it by some function dependent on x so if we pass from uh, this pseudo differential operator you see it, it, it's, it have such a not, not the simple form because sometimes we we have the, the this operator in a inverse inverse operator this is some so but we can rewrite and construct the symbol at, at least mm, with such a number and uh, at least formally and so we obtain the symbol in such a form and with a small parameter h of square i want to say that here it is very important to use this muscle of Feynman formulas or Feynman Maslow formulas because it's uh, if you don't use it i don't know how to prove this fact because it's, it's quite complicated but using the, the, this ideas then it's possible to do it not not I, I cannot say that technically it's easy but it's easy to, to to realize it nevertheless okay then okay now we want to use uh, this double WPG approximation for constructing the solution of uh, pseudo differential operator of this type and so we seek the solution in a double wkb form first which doesn't cover the case and which exists in this form uh, which we have the focal points here and so if we uh, construct formally the gamilton jacobi equation corresponding to um, this ansatz we obtain the third order um, characteristic equation so lambda here is the exponential function and so we again we obtain uh, the equation with the third uh, we obtain the Hamilton Jacobi equation with the complex valued symbol. Okay, and now it's a but but what what our trick? It is not not some observation you see now we can um, separate uh, or we can uh, the, we can separate our Hamilton Jacobi equation to two parts and so the first part corresponding to the zero level uh, the zero root of this equation and uh, the other part corresponding to other two roots of this equation and so if we construct uh, the pictures uh, the, the draw the pictures of the roots of this equation we see that it has such a form it's correspond it's uh, so the lambda zero is here and lambda plus minus uh, here and uh, so uh, uh, you see that, that, that we actually we have if we construct the solution of our Gamilton Jacobi equation will be complex one but now we use the same trick which we uh, use for the uh, standard uh, or, or, or one dimensional uh, polynomials and so we seek uh, we present the ansatz in such a form something like that so without first the, the focal points so we separate so we have the, the three roots, lambda zero. Lambda zero corresponds to the first term in our asymptotics and our two other roots corresponding to this, uh, the, the second part. But we don't 
uh, but what, what we do here, we separate the real valued phases, which we have in the similar case in the in the standard uh, orthogonal polynomials. And then uh, again, we, we have uh, this, this oscillations of this one. So this part will be satisfied to some uh, simple uh, equations, uh, pseudo differential equation. And this part corresponding to the Schrodinger, uh, discrete Schrodinger type of equation. Uh, so this is maybe some pictures about, uh, okay, let me split this back. And so, and now it's important uh, that uh, it's good, good. we want to make some new parameterization of our uh, this algebraic curve, which defined uh, the uh, the um, Gamilton Jacobi equation. We parameterize, we parameterize them first by uh, this uh, level, but this uh, zero. Uh, one of the uh, uh, real valued root of this uh, third order algebraic curve. And so then we can represent uh, this our algebraic curve in such a form where A and uh, um, B, uh, we can express there this lambda zero. And so we have the good parameterization for the hamilton jacobi equation. Now, what our next idea? So, as I told you, first we have the, the, the we want to construct the real valued uh, Hamiltonians for the Hamiltonian system with the complex, uh, complex uh, Hamiltonians. And so we introduce such type of functions, S zero, which corresponding to the lambda zero root, and then to other functions corresponding to the two other uh, complex conjugated roots. And so after that, we obtain the equations for the psi zero in such a form. And then we obtained uh, the equations uh, of for phi one and phi, uh, phi two, phi, phi two in such a form. But then we can separate uh, the imaginary part and the real world part, and we obtain two uh, the, the, the differential equation or, or some equation, Hamilton Jacobi equation for the uh, this part of our phase and uh, for um, this phase of our phase. So this gives us the three Hamiltonians, three new Hamiltonians in classical limit. And so this is the real one. You see, this is very important. You see, we don't pass our real axis and uh, we just work with the real uh, valued variables momenta psi in in uh, this one and then mm, for when we have no oscillations and here we have the oscillation and so we denote this momenta by p so we have three type of equations finally and so let me show you uh, three type of equations and so uh, what is our now uh, the final answer for our solution? So first part corresponding to the um, solution with, uh, no, with there is no some oscillation. Here we have the second part. We have uh, represent in a form something like the, the, the separation of variables, but not the standard separation of variables. We separate the part corresponding to the real valued symbol, the growing part and or decaying part, and this is have oscillations. And finally, we want to construct the three pseudo-differential operator. Two of them could be solved quite easy. And the, the third one is a, no more uh, as the uh, discrete Schrodinger operator with uh, some, some correction. Correction is important. And so now we split our solution to the three equations. And now we use the standard approach and uh, our new approach based on the ADE functions to construct the asymptotic solutions. So and here now it is so, so to, to, to reduce our original equation to this three one, we use the trick based on the this uh, Feynman-Maslow uh, 
calculus. So the, 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 this, uh, the leading term is not complicated to obtain using analysis of the this algebraic curve, but the correction is not so easy to construct. I omit uh, all these calculations. I just want to say that it's possible to do. And finally, we obtain um, the equation in such a form. You see, this is the, this such a correction and uh, this could be find explicitly. Lambda is, is a function which is also Okay, now, which is also possible to, to, to present. So, but it's formula alone, but they're explicit, believe me. And so we use it. Mm. Then we construct, okay, let me uh, omit uh, some calcul calculus. And so finally we obtain the first term of our, uh, of our representation of solution in such a form. You see that is quite a uh, explicit formula because all, all these functions are defined in terms of coefficients of our polynomials. Then uh, the second part also could be constructed in an uh, explicit form. This is uh, the definition of this function psi1. You see this is more or less explicit. And uh, so, and then the, 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 the oscillation part in our corresponding to the uh, this uh, oscillations and the area function could be presented in the form of Maslow canonical operator. And uh, so, how we, but of course, if, if you have the product of the sum function, it's necessary to, 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 to explain how we can separate uh, these two functions, how we define this function. And so, we define them in such a form that our final symbol sh could should be real valued. And so it is not so it is not complicated to realize it. And finally we obtain the mm, the coefficient for the uh, function, I mean the function which we have here uh, uh, the, the function in this representation. Oh, I'm sorry. C0 we obtain, then, and here C1, C1, and the, so the fact that our solution satisfy C, the coefficient Psi1 and Psi2, the factor Psi1 satisfy two equation with a real valued symbol give us the uh, definition of the A1 and then the equation for Psi2. And so these formulas are quite complicated. You see, just uh, I show you them. Mm. This is A1, and this is the equation for the function Psi2, which is more informative in this case. Of course, all, all the things we need. And then after that, we obtain, and using this trick, which I told you about, we obtain the solution in the form uh, of uh, the um, of area function of, uh, of complex argument. So now I just can show you the explicit formulas. You see that is not comp they are not easy, of course, to understand. But what I want to say that actually we construct uh, the explicit formulas for this um, representation, asymptotic representation of solution. Now we need just to define that is again something like the fundamental solution, and now we want to define the coefficients psi zero and c1, which is depends on the argument of the variables, uh, the argument of the, this polynomial. So I, I must finish soon. Yes, so it's uh, okay. And then it is interesting to, uh, to to that it's possible to introduce uh, the, so the solution could be present in parametric form. You see one parametric uh, we use like a parameter we use like a, a, a lambda zero is a, uh, one of the root of this our characteristic equation. But instead of them, it's good to, it's better to use some other parameter mu, which is, uh, you, you can see definition in, in such a form. And then after that, we obtain the very good represent, uh, for parameterization of our uh, solution. Via the parameter mu, 
and all the functions which are introduced, which are included in the representation of the solution, could be represented in a form of parametric in a parametric form with a parametric parameter mu. So it depends. The solution depends on mu, and mu could be defined from this um, x. And so finally, we then we can use in this parameterization, we can obtain um, the uh, coefficients in our representation of the solution, and finally we obtain. Uh, the solution in parametric form for uh, this uh, orthogonal polynomials. And so this is maybe the, the main result of uh, this part. And uh, so the formulas, you see, that is, of course, it's maybe it's no, 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 not very simple technically, but nevertheless, it's possible to realize them using program Mathematica. It's very easy. And uh, so this is definition of the coefficients which you have here and now let me show just a uh, just a comparison of this formulas with the real valued uh, with the polynomials which we have uh, with the um, exact polynomials which we construct in uh, which we construct using this asympt asymptotically Yes. So this is the picture. Maybe I need to, to I need to, to two minutes. Yes, maybe three minutes more. What you see that that what we have. So this is the, the, the picture corresponding to the um, the turning point of our polynomial. You see, and it depends. X is a number of polynomials. First, we have two zone of oscillations. It's like in a double well in quantum mechanics, and then we have one zone of oscillation, and here we have something that passes from one. Okay, and then for different zone of a different uh, set, we can construct a different type of, uh, we have the different type of representation of our asymptotic solution, and it's just a um, picture which will illustrate the coinciding of exact asymptotics with the, uh, the the asymptotic solution with the exact polynomial, you see, the approximation is very very good. You see, okay. So maybe what I would like to say that we just consider this is my last my slide my, my last slide we consider uh, it's possible to to construct to to to, to consider uh, this polynomial. Uh, like the solution of uh, equation of the third order, yes. And then what we did now with Anjan Svitkov, it was last our work. We, we worked. We consider situation then n one is not equal to zero using this uh, equations, and so it was published. And the, the so I have no much time to speak about that, but that we use the closed trick uh, which we use for the. Mm, the, the, this uh, diagonal polynomials, but we use uh, this um, equation of the third order. And again, we reduce our uh, equation with a complex valued symbol with a several equation with a real valued symbol. And then we, uh, using some tricks and some other one, we construct the uh, polynomials, the solutions, and that is just uh, some pictures and this is, you see, again, this is a good coinciding of the situation. But of course, it's good to um, to construct the same results using the recurrent equation because it's a two-dimensional case, and it is some um, integrable the the, uh, the, 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 the uh, commutation, the operator which commutate commute. And this is some Hamiltonian system, the integrable Hamiltonian system of two-dimensional and multi-dimensional, which could be maybe used in not only for this type of polynomial, on the, uh, the other one. So this is some other pictures which we construct. Okay, and I think it's time to, to stop. And so this is our papers, which you can find. And, and Okay, so thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for your kind talk, and uh, we have time for questions. Yeah. Uh, 
my questions, uh, my questions, sir. Uh, yeah. uh, what results can be obtained uh, in this uh, statement in the solution of the difference equation by the standard uh, asymptotic me methods? For example, the uh, stationary phase method, the Laplace method, and the Perival method. Uh, what result one can obtain in this situation, more simple situation? No, I, I'm not sure that it's possible to use this method to construct this asymptotics. You see, maybe for only for the um, for uh, the Hermitian polynomials, standard Hermitian polynomials. But I want to say that even for Hermitian polynomials, our formula is based on the area function is a new formula. You see, it is maybe it's, it's some was <laughs> it was great surprise for us. And when we start to consider first this Hermitian polynomials, then then some some people, for instance, the specialist in this uh, um, problem, they ask, do you know? Do you think that you construct the new formulas, uh, which are uh, the formulas which are new with respect to standard Poincaré attack formulas? And first, we don't understand that. They are really construct these formulas, you see, and that is uh, because um, what we, we really do, we combine the WKB and area function, we include the WKB in the tail of the area function and give us uniform asymptotics. You see, you cannot find them using this, uh, the, the saddle point method and so on, it's, it is just some tricks and then and, and, and new effects you see yeah i don't think that you see this problem they're, they're, they're very old you see and that is of course possible the people knew all these methods you see all, all this approach but they, they, they didn't got uh, they didn't get uh, this formulas which even in simple situation you see so thank you very much very interesting results sir. so it's yeah. excellent Thank you. More questions, please. Maybe I have a small wondering. You, you yeah. mentioned uh, oscillation, uh, maybe in symbol or um, in some place of Europe. What, what is there is a difference between kind type of oscillation, kind of slow oscillation, or whether you have restrictions on the type of oscillation? So what is the oscillation? I mean that, that you you have the, the the fast oscillation actually. Oh. You see, because n is big. But again, I would like to repeat that was for us it was great surprise that even for small n, our formulas works very good. You see, actually we construct our asymptotics for when n tends to infinity. You see, mm -hmm. but even for n equal to one, here n is infinity. Yes, you see. You see, for emitting polynomials, you can check it. It's, it's very easy. You see, this is the, the, the difference between the exact solution and, and exact polynomial. And this is it's, it's, it's very small. It means, for for instance, and they wrote some paper about it, if we consider, for instance, a Schrodinger equation uh, with a small parameter, and you can use the oscillator, harmonic oscillator approximation for the low levels of the and the excited states, I mean, for double WKB method with the, you can find it, for instance, in the book of um, Landau and Lifshitz, yes. Then we can construct the asymptotics, which give us uniform passage from the small n, starting from n equal to one, yes, to n, n to large n, you see? So you can use these formulas for uh, for any, almost any n, and it's little more than one or not. On two and it's okay. So, so this is uniform asymptotics for, for me. I see. Main so uniform when uh, and it goes to infinity, right? Yes. So, but starting from n equal to one, you see, mm -hmm. it's uniform, but it works. When you say that you have uniform asymptotics, that, that means that you have a constant that you can bump from one side and another side by this asymptotic, right? It's uh, yes, but because what was the actually what is the 
Pronchelet pr- pr- Latach formula. So in, in, in the neighborhood of the, between the, the, um, the turning point, you have the WKB. It is very well known, and it's also Pronchelet Latach wrote. And in, in, in the neighborhood of the turning point, we have an airy function. Here mm-hmm. we have the um, exponential function, but of course it is n- n- not Hermitian polynomial, but Hermitian function we um, def- multiply it by exponential minus x. Yes, but uh, here you see h- how we can construct this. So we construct first again the fundamental solution and how we can find the coefficient on the coefficient the, the coefficient on uh, uh, the constant uh, of which is free in, in for the differential observed differential operator we must find something like the boundary condition and this boundary condition is no more that we take the equation for the emitter and polynomial yes standard emitter polynomials and omit so Amit, Amit, and this, I mean, Amit, the, 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 this correction, you see. Mm-hmm. So, and then we compare. So, so then the, the, the solution of this simple equation is uh, obvious, yes. And then we just compare the result of uh, our uh, asymptotics, the, our asymptotics at the infinity with respect to z, to, 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 to z, you see. Okay. To that, and then it gives us due to analyticity, it's important. Yeah, they can continue this coefficient to all the axes. So, this is I, the see. I see. Very nice, thank you. More questions, please. Okay, so again, I would like to attract your attention to this simple formula. You see, that is it, it's include, uh, yes. Yes, very nice formula. Thank you. So, please, more questions. If there are no more questions, then let's thank speaker for a very nice presentation. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.